Hey, welcome to Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. And today I've got some news for you. Yeah, it's a mail call video. Look, this is my old uh, Lodge LSG. It's the old kind where the bell just pops off like this. All right. I've had it a long time. I bought it new uh, back before they changed the design. Nowadays you can get those uh, two spring handles and pick them up like that. Uh, and the bell handle falls in the back. But once I got to use, and I used it a lot for about six years. It's one of only three grills I had at the time. And um, once I got the YouTube channel, started using other grills. This one kind of got neglected a little bit, but I did use it on the YouTube a lot. It was always one of my favorite grills. And uh, I've kind of wore the top out. The top grill grate kind of got worn out and it just started to fall through. And basically I got one little piece of it left somewhere around here. And so I haven't used it in about a year and a half because I haven't had the grill grate. I've used it a couple times with this Lodge uh, carbon steel grilling pan that I got from Big's Home Cooking. I'll set that on top of it and use that. It works pretty well to do a steak or something, but I haven't used it a lot and I've kind of neglected it, kind of, because uh, I didn't have the grill grate to it. And I'd keep wanting to buy a new grill grate and Lodge would have them in and I'd say, okay, next month I'll get one. They wouldn't be in anymore. Right now it's spring of 2021 and Lodge doesn't have any LSG stuff in. They've got the new uh, kickoff grill they're promoting. I like that grill. I've been using that grill a lot, but I didn't have a grill grate. So now I do. I've got a mail call from Carolina Chris Outdoors and I can't thank Carolina Chris Outdoors enough. Now my channel has given him a shout out before. He's given me a shout out before. We've exchanged shout outs. We love each other's channel. Even though he's like a bushcrafter guy, he does a lot of cooking and I like to watch his show. I'm not really all that into bushcraft. I think I'm probably too old and fat. My brother's into that stuff. He does all the hiking and camping in the snow. I think my brother likes Carolina Chris Outdoors. He watches his show. Anyway, I like Carolina Chris Outdoors because he sent me a mail call. But it wouldn't happen without Donna over at uh, Dream Creations and Adventures. She's got this uh, crafting channel and she does some cooking on her LSG and some cast iron cooking. And she uh, has a lot of other cool stuff too. Anyway, she did a video for me telling people that I didn't have a top grill grate, that I was neglectful and let it rust through and wear out. And I have seen some um, reviews on Amazon about this grill. I've got a review on there too. I love this grill. But they were purchased around the same time and another fella said that his grill kind of disintegrated too. Uh, but the rest of the grill is fine if I get it all cleaned up. I'm going to talk to you about that a little bit later. So Chris saw Donna's video and said, I've got one for Big Lou. I bought it extra in case I ever needed it. I don't suppose I ever will. I'll contact Big Lou. He told me how much he paid for it, a fair price. And then I told him I'd give him the shipping on it and whatever. And Chris put it in the mail to me. Now the box arrived today, uh, USPS, and it has this big hole in the side. But the grill grate is still in there. But I don't know that it was open like this. He did write, let me uh, cover up my address here. He did write fragile on it, as you can see. Well, he did write fragile on it, as you can see. And, uh, but you know, it still wasn't handled perfectly well. But anyway, it is here, it's in the box. And so let's get it open. And uh, here's my knife right here. Come on now, case rust lock, case rust lock. There we go. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Chris did have some packing stuff in here, some air bubble stuff, but there's a little note. I'm gonna have to put on my reading glasses to read that. Oh, there's something else in there too. What in the world would that be? I don't know, but it's still in there. Here it is, guys, here it is. Now, my old grill had the flat top on it, the one where you could put down stuff and um, Hot dogs would roll over it, but you could put pots and pans on it real easy. Uh, my mom's got this new one. And so look at that. Look at that. It's the new grill, guys. Chris, I can't thank you enough. Donna, thank you over at DreamWorks Creations. Check out her channel. Um, I'm going to have links to all the channels I mentioned down below. Look at that. It's all the Lodge Season Steel. He said he had it out in his shed. He didn't imagine using it, and if he ever does need one, we know Lodge is going to bring them back. If not later this year, next year, Lodge will have the uh, LSGs. But my LSG will be back in business. Look at that. It's got those ridges so hot dogs don't roll off and burgers don't slide off. Whoo, I can't wait. I'm going to clean this up this weekend. I'm going to clean it up this weekend. Next video you see, I'll have this all cleaned up. Um, 
Should have got on it last weekend, but had too many other uh, projects to work on. All right, too many other projects to work on. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna get it cleaned up. What else is in here? He sent me something. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I know he's a Texas Pete fan and he knows I'm from Louisiana. I'm gonna read these cards to you in a minute. You know what, before I open this, let me go ahead and read the cards. He gave me a YouTube sticker. I don't have any YouTube stickers. People ask me for YouTube stickers. My channel ain't big enough for YouTube stickers. A lot of folks have YouTube stickers. Guess I ought to get some at some point. Um, somebody said you got 10,000 subscribers. That's big enough, huh? I don't know. Enjoy your new Lodge Sportsman's Grill, Great Big Lou, from Chris at Carolina Chris Outdoors. And I got this one too with another sticker. Uh, let me put on my reading spectacles because I'm old. I included two specialty sauces made by Texas Pete. I don't believe you can get them there, so hope you, here you go, and enjoy. All right, I'm glad they didn't break. Glad they didn't break, look at that. Specialty sauces from Texas Pete. He knows I like hot sauce, but Texas Pete is made in Carolina. Texas is 15 miles behind me. Hotter hot sauce. All right, I'm gonna use this, Chris. I'm gonna use it for you, buddy. I'm gonna use Texas Pete. And by the way, I got a bottle in there too. I've had it for a few months. I've never opened it. Sabor, Mexican style Texas Pete. All right. Hey, Chris, thank you very much, buddy. Um, I appreciate the opportunity to get a grill grate for this lodge. Folks, I'll get this uh, cleaned up. Now, I want to talk real quick about cleaning it up. I've got, uh, I'll set that down on the box. It's on the box, not on the ground. All right. I've got the flap wheel going. Uh huh. I got a wire brush. Yep, I got about four gallons of cleaning vinegar. Uh, cleaning vinegar, by the way, is 6% acidic. Cooking vinegar is 5% acidic. You say, well, that's only 1% more. Well, cooking vinegar will clean your stuff up. It will. But uh, cleaning vinegar, don't eat it. It's 6%. You say, that's only 1% more. That's 20% more acidic than um, cooking vinegar, okay? So I'm probably gonna use uh, cleaning vinegar with it, but I'm probably gonna soak it. I got the five gallon bucket here. You know, I've done this before with some cast iron. Soak it in that, clean it up. But buddy Matt over at uh, Teach a Man to Fish channel, he's got a good channel too. He cooks a lot on his lodge. If you like Lodge L L LSG uh, grills, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back up here now. If you like Lodge LSG grills, I'll tell you what, um, Teach a Man to Fish, he does a lot. He's gonna have a video coming out soon if not the day you see this video on uh, restoring cast iron with electrolysis. I've seen some videos before like that. I'm going to watch his video and uh, then I'm going to put it in vinegar. No, I'm going to watch his video and consider electrolysis to clean this up. And I might do it after I watch his video. I might. And if I don't, I'm going to do it with the vinegar method and get it cleaned up. I'm not going to do a video on restoring it. There's enough of those videos out there on YouTube. But the next time you see me cook on this, it'll be restored. And I got a new grate. I cannot thank you enough. Hey, I want you to um, check out all those channels I mentioned. DreamWorks Creations. Thank you for putting that a call out. That's such a nice YouTube thing to do. Chris at Carolina Chris Outdoors. Maybe I ought to get stickers. They'd burn off if I put them on here, though. But maybe I ought to get some channel stickers. But nobody watches my channel anyway. They don't want stickers. Nobody wants a sticker from Big Lou. But they want them from Chris, I guarantee you. Donna at DreamWorks. Uh, not DreamWorks, excuse me. Dream Creations and Adventures. Thank you very much for putting that call out. Chris at Carolina Chris Outdoors. Thank you for um, selling me your uh, grill grate. They're hard to get right now. It is so kind that you did that. Look at this, it's got a little notch right there too. I didn't even realize that. I thought it was the same all the way around. Uh, I guess I can still put skillets and stuff on here and I guess my uh, BSR 352 will still fit it. I like, that's one reason I like about this notch one. You can take this off real quick and you put that old BSR 352 through there and carry the whole thing as a unit. And thank you for the sauces, Chris. And uh, Teach a Man to Fish channel, check his channel out too. Guys, that's my mail call, run my mouth a lot enough. Thank you for watching Big Lou Barbecue and um, stickers. I like getting them, but I've never given them somebody because I ain't got none. Maybe I'll get some. Thank y'all, guys. LSG will be back on my channel soon, soon enough. I guarantee.